so there was some interest in me making this video converting a cup turner that was purchased on Amazon uh, into one that can be adapted to use PVC pipe. Now this one's already been adapted, but I will put up on the screen here what this turner, um, what this portion right here, before I added all of this, what was right here. There's a little, there's a little metal rod on the inside of this adapter. And today I'm going to show you how to make this adapter so that you don't have to use the rods that came with it. So if you have one that you bought from Amazon, and when I first got into this, um, this was a Prime Day deal uh, with a turner and epoxy and all. I didn't know what I was doing. And I didn't realize that the rods it came with look like this. So let's see here. Let me see if I can focus a little better. So you can see it has a hole on the inside with a screw. And this screw would then screw onto this metal rod here. So to be honest, you can really only have two cups going or, or two things going at one time because this is a non-standard pipe. You could even you could find a PVC maybe similar size, but there would be no good way to attach it to this turner, at least not that I found. So I went to Home Depot the other day, and I want to give out a shout out to Tyler, who helped me again today to find all those same pieces again um, to show you how I put it together. So uh, if you have a turner like this, this is not to convert any other kind of turner, just the one I, I have, the kind that has a small quarter inch or so metal um, nubbin that sticks out here from the motor and comes with rods like this with a, with a screw that screws into that little metal piece. And like I said, um, you all have seen the picture, um, what that looks like. So let me show you what you're going to need to make this adapter. Okay, first I'm going to mention that this is to adapt that turner to accept um, half inch PVC pipe because half inch PVC pipe is really cheap. This was a, a, a single length of 24 inches at Home Depot that cost me, I believe, a dollar and 60 cents and they cut it for free. This is now two rods for a dollar 60. So I figured that's better than Eventually, I'm going to make a multi-cup turner, but right now I wanted to adapt what I have so that when I add more turners, I have all the same materials. I'm using all half-inch PVC, and including my drying rack. Everything is going to be based on this half-inch PVC pipe. So these are the materials you'll need to purchase. Now, these three items cost me just under $10. I think it was $9.84. The glue is just a little bit more. If you have it already, that's great. If you have, uh, even E6000 will work in this. But I looked up what was the best glue for solidifying metal to metal because you're gonna be taking this brass piece and gluing it onto that little tiny nubbin that sticks out about a half inch from that turner. And Loctite brand Extreme Glue No Drip Gel. This is what you want. So I'm gonna show you here, Loctite Extreme, Extreme Glue No Drip Gel. And this sets up in, a, it takes about five minutes of setting up and then it's cured in 24 hours and you are golden, okay? So that's the Loctite Gel. Then, like I said, you're gonna want at least one um, rod of PVC of whatever length you choose. I happen to buy one that was 24 inches cut in half, so they're 12 inches long. You have that. Then you're going to find this adapter. So this is at Home Depot, a half inch uh, female adapter. Let me get my receipt so I make sure I get this just right. Uh, half inch MIP, no, I'm sorry, half inch PVC female adapter. And the number that you're going to look for on the shelf, right here, you can see this 2101. I'm going to show you what the barcode looks like. Um, I want you to see this real well. In case you have to go to some other uh, hardware store, you can match this. So this half-inch PVC female adapter. 
it has threads on the inside of one end and the other end is smooth and that's where your um, PVC pipe will get stuck into. It, it's snug enough that it's not going to shift while it's turning, but not so snug you can't pull it on and off the adapter. It's perfect. Then, and this was the part I couldn't find without help from someone there, um, I didn't know how to make that quarter inch nubbin attached to this half inch adapter. This is a compression adapter. It's in the same aisle um, at Home Depot. You're going to look for LFA 25. This is a quarter inch to half inch in MIP, and it is brass. Now, this is actually three pieces, so let me take this out of the package. I haven't opened this one. I went ahead and bought a, another one so I could make this video because I wanted you to see just how this looks. So, this is all in plumbing. That's where you're going to head. Okay, so there's this part here that unscrews and, whoops, it comes into these two little pieces. You don't need those. You just need this portion here. Now you can see where I'm getting at. This threaded portion is what threads into this. Okay, and then your rod will go here. This end is what's going to attach to your turner, but we've got a problem. And this is where I was running into an issue. If you can look down in there, you see that lip? Let me bring it closer. You see that lip in there? That prevents, it's quarter inch here, but not inside. Excuse my dry hands, oh my gosh. Um, so, Tyler at Home Depot said, if you take a quarter inch drill bit that is designed for metal, you can core this out fairly easily, and I'm gonna show you how to do that, okay? Now, there's one more consideration those little nubbins on the turner are not exactly a quarter inch. They're some sort of slightly larger, could be quarter inch on yours, but mine it turned out was slightly larger so that even when I drilled this out, it was still a little bit too tight on the inside. And I'll show you how to fix that as well. So now that we have the um, adapter, the brass adapter in a vise. This is very important because if you don't put it in a, a really sturdy vise, your drill will spin all over the place and not drill and you'll break your wrist. It's not fun. Uh, no, I'm not saying I did that, but it certainly, I could see where it was going. So make sure you have a really good sturdy vise. Um, if you don't have one, I am almost positive that that 70 year old neighbor down the street has one in his garage or workshop. So if you don't have a drill or drill bits or what I'm going to show you next, which is basically a Dremel tool, I can guarantee that you have a dad, neighbor, grandpa, somebody in your neighborhood has this quarter inch drill bit um, and drill that can do this for you. It's, it's not that hard. If you're going to do it yourself, the biggest consideration be besides having a good sturdy mounted um, vise is eye protection because brass is fairly soft and it's going to kick up some metal shards. So I don't want anyone getting any shards in their eyes. Please, please, please take protection for your eyes. Okay, so I've got my quarter inch drill bit and I've got it set on drill. Make sure I'm going the right direction here. All right, let's give this a try here. Never done this on camera before, so. And you put gentle, even pressure, and I'm through. And that was it. Now, I like to kind of, notice I'm kind of rolling around with the drill. There we go. Try to get that in the shot. I'm just kind of pouring it out on the inside. That was it. Okay, so for those of you who have never drilled before, and I'm, I used to be one of those people. In fact, I'm still not very good at this. Um... It's, it's, it seems scary, and in five seconds, you're done. Okay, so I'm going to just clean up a little bit here. Not that my workshop, which is my garage, um, is all that clean, but I like to um, be neat and tidy. Okay, so I did mention that this doesn't always work 
right off the go. So let's, um, let me un loosen this up and take this off out so you can see. Ah, see? Still a little bit, but that's mostly gone. Now, check this on your um, turner. So let me pull this in here. So mine's flush right now up against this, but there's the little rod in there. So check the fit on the rod. If it does not go on all the way, then put it back in your vise or your dad's vise or your neighbor's vise or your brother's vise, you know, whoever's got a vise. Get in there nice and tight and you're going to need a Dremel. Now, I have a Dremel and unfortunately it stopped working. I have kind of a knockoff Dremel, but it's a Dremel bit that I'm using here. This is like a grinding bit. Um, and I just found one that would basically kind of get in there, okay? It's, it's a little tight, but that's okay. You don't want to just go straight in, okay? So whatever uh, grinding bit you can find that is small enough to get down in there, even if it's a little smaller, that's okay. So I'm going to turn on this uh, thermal type tool, and I'm just going to, whoops, Gently grind this down, okay? And this is this one's really worn out, so this is not going to do a good job. But you, you get the idea. Grind it a little bit, check the fit. Grind it a little bit more, check the fit. You want it to be a, a fairly tight fit. You don't want it loose where it's sliding off and on because then you're just going to need that much more glue, and it's going to be harder to set up. Okay? So I will move on to the next step. These are the items you're going to need. Your turner that has that little rod, that little uh, metal rod, your adapter, um, PVC female adapter, your um, quarter inch to half inch that we've drilled out and cored out, and a half, a length of half inch PVC pipe cut to about 12 inches so that um, what it's going to do is it's going to brace and keep level the adapter while it is gluing. Oh yes, and your Loctite glue. This is where the glue comes in handy. Now, the Loctite glue also has another benefit with this type of turner, and that is these little screws here um, loosen up with the vibrations of the turner. I found this out the hard way. I came in after a couple of hours, and my cup was, it, it was like this. It was very disappointing, and I couldn't keep them tight, so I, I did a Band-Aid method with some black electrical tape just to keep them from loosening. Instead, I have now added uh, Loctite between this L shape and the, the, the bottom piece, plus a little daub on each one. And in 24 hours, that will no longer shift. This one isn't near as a, a problem, but it was this one, because it's, you know, there's this little tiny lip here, these little tiny screws, and they're just not holding it as it's turning. So this one has the adapter already on it, but I'll show you what we're gonna do. So you take your brass piece. This part, you don't have to glue it together. They'll stay together quite well. Um, in fact, this one doesn't even seem to have screwed on as far as the other one. That's okay, no big deal. It's tight, you know, I can't even like finger tight it anymore. And you don't have to worry about it on the inside because there's that lip there, okay? You're gonna put in your half inch PVC pipe, make it nice and snug. And then you're going to add, and I wouldn't add it to this end because it's just going to get shoved down, sorry, shoved down into this. Add it to the rod. The only part you really, 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 I can't stress this enough, be careful of, don't get it so far up the rod that it is going to interfere with the turning of that little rod after it hardens. Okay, does that make sense? You want the you want this to be a little bit further away from this metal here, this this piece, so that it can turn freely when it's cured. Okay, so you're gonna put some a little bit of this Loctite gel, you're gonna put that on, and it's gonna rest. This is silly. It's gonna rest like this here. Okay, so pretend this is that. Okay. It's going to rest on here, which is going to keep this level so it won't 
it'll droop otherwise and you're going to have it where it sets up and it's like like this you want it straight so if you put this in here this isn't going to get glue on it it's it's all the way over here it's going to keep it the way you want it to harden and then what i did was i left it like that for five minutes didn't touch it okay after about 30 minutes i ran my turner one revolution and i i could tell based on the sticker if it had made one revolution i kind of did that when i remembered to which was like about every hour or so just to kind of make sure that if i guess i felt like if i kept it turning enough as it was curing it would not if there was any of that little bit too far over it would not set up where it wouldn't be able to turn and then I went to bed and, you know, after 24 hours, you can use it. So it's a one day project, but is well worth it. So do it in between, you know, sets of cups or whatever. So this is a way to take a turner that you bought on Amazon that isn't already set up to accept half inch PVC pipe. Um, and that way you can continue using it, even if you do end up with another method down the road. You don't want to throw this out. So $10 worth of materials from Home Depot, um, more like 15 if you include the Loctite. So I, you know, yeah, this only costs 25, but who wants to throw it out when you can make it work for you for another 15? And then you've got another Turner. So lesson learned, if you ended up like me and didn't go ahead and look into what was going to come up down the road and, you know, you get into it, and start getting involved in it you want to do more it's nice to have one that's adapted to all the other ones that you use from then on so hope that makes sense if you have any questions please leave them down in the comments section um, I'm gonna to try to do some more of these kind of like not necessarily like tumblr videos but more how to make the things that make your tumblr and pen and, and all that life easy so I'm thinking the next one I'll make is just a very easy PVC only, doesn't need any glue, um, four cup holder that I've made. Um, takes these and sets them up and I number each rod and each pipe so that I know which one I'm working on. So if you'd like to see that, leave me a comment down below and like and subscribe if you feel like doing so. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.